ടെസ്റ്റ് അല്ലേ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് സോ ടുഡേ ടുഡേ വി ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദി ശാന്തി അറിയ ദിവസ് ഫോർ സ്ഥാൻസ അബൌട്ട് സബ്ജെക്ട് മെയിൻ മെയിൻ സബ്ജെക്ട് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് മധ്യ മേക്ക but it's also cover both the uh, tooth like a uh, what's called conventional tooth and uh, ultimate tooth and so every, everybody i i i how to say i assume everybody knows a little bit about i anyway <laughs> so i'm not gonna uh, go is okay to put here right it's okay right mm-hmm. oh yeah so so in in general uh uh with the how to say even the master within the indian masters uh follower of the the uh, uh nagarjuna so like uh chandra kiti or those uh disciple of the uh nagarjuna they uh, how to call they respect or they consider the aya deva as similar as the uh, uh, Nagarjuna. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to tell you. So, in the great traditions, they consider uh, Nagarjuna and Ayadeva are like a father and son and both of their writings are equally important and they call it uh, both of their writings are Mathemika's uh, treatises. Mm-hmm. 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 So in general speaking, uh, within the Mathemika school, there are two divisions, Prasangika Mathemika and Savatendra Mathemika. However, in writings of Nagarjuna and Aryadeva, uh, there's no, like um, there is no fine uh, mentioning of such divisions. Mm-hmm. Now, um, speaking of Arya Deva as the author of the text, like a, in terms of his biography, uh, maybe you guys know more than me in terms of his biography, but in general speaking, Arya Deva was in vaguely was born in southern India. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they use a Singala, place called the Singala, might be that times part of india maybe sri lanka i'm not sure so it's 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 how to say close to that uh, south india direction and then they uh, later on he met the nagarjuna and he studied with him uh, something like that so yes <laughs> So within the writings of Aryadeva, Aryadeva's, uh, the 400 verses on uh, Matimika stands out. Mm-hmm. Also, there are lots of like a interpre- uh, interpretation on the uh, this particular text. Mm-hmm. Uh, such interpretations, uh, such as like a Chandragiti, who wrote an uh, interpretation on the great treatises uh, mm-hmm. of this 400 verses. 
So in Tibetan, uh, in Tibet, uh, with all the uh, denominations, such as like Saigya, Giluk, and so forth, all of many of the great masters within those schools also wrote a uh, commentary on this text. And it is the Gilul and the Jatabram Jackson Bonala, almost a bit of a judge. They said, Yes. So in uh, in Gil in Giluk school like uh, Geza Rumbache, one of the dis <laughs> in the disciple of Lama Zongaba, uh, who also uh, wrote a commentary on this text. Then I'm she just big to down uh on color of the teeth. Tea tea in down the day I walk on the hunter tea drinks of the doing top tom new years. Let's say so uh fortunately I also received the uh the Shitty rang in the long tea talking thing at ten minutes. Let's say so. I received the uh transmissions of this particular text, but not sure about oral transmission or, or commentary oral transmissions. So you should do Sheba Rantin, sure. Let's say so. When I received the transmissions, I received through the uh, commentary on the text. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I received from the His Holiness the foreign Dalai Lama. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, so it's very fortunate for us to have this time to explore on this particular text. Mm -hmm. Because this is a very extremely important text. Mm -hmm. So uh, now in general speaking like uh, why why this text is so important because in general speaking we all know the importance of understanding the ultimate truth which is the emptiness right and now speaking of the emptiness this text is one of the most important in terms of explanation on emptiness and regarding explanation of emptiness this text merge in terms of uh uh explaining through both the truth in terms of conventional truth and ultimate truth. Mm. Yes. Now in general, uh, in a broader uh, presentation of the, all the, uh, the, the uh, in broader aspects of uh, Every phenomenon that exists can be presented in terms of all the method aspects of the practices can be uh, present in the form of conventional truth and all the like wisdom aspects of the phenomena can be presented in terms of uh, ultimate truth. So, th so this is why we are referring like when we say true truth, we are referring to this level. So, but if an individual like whose mere exemption to uh, just to tackle this subject based on uh, on the the text itself. Uh, it could be hard to digest everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, uh, I mean, the, that uh, uh, root test, the, the 400 standards, if you just uh, rely only on that test and then want to learn from that uh, root test, maybe uh, too heavy. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, how does it come, how does it come Comprehension. Comprehension, so. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, one, we should rely on the, some commentary, and also one, we should rely on the, some instructors. So, someone can explain uh, to you. 
now let's back to the text. <laughs> so to begin the text, so first and foremost important is adjusting a motivation as usual to any Dhamma practice. And now in terms of cultivating a motivation has to in accordance with the uh, master and the lineage guru's instructions uh, in terms of how to adjust our motivations. Mm. So now my presentation on this text based on Gezer uh, text commentary on this text and now, so I will explain in terms of the, like a broader like outlines based on his text. So I will do my best to explain as simple as possible. Otherwise, if I explain the style uh, that we adopt in monastery, like a just teacher disciple, like a in depth. Uh, exploring, then it could be uh, uh, it's time consuming and difficult. Mm. Uh, therefore, so I will do my best to explain as simple as possible. Mm. <laughs> ตะเตนเดนชิลาจิตังอจุดิมเดวิชนะเดนชิเดนชิลับเชอร์ดิยังโคมาเยวะเชนยงนะเตนางโลเลยาอันนี้เดมบะชิชิซุโซเลยาช
ลอดมาเดียวเจ๊ตลอดน้ําชาติตักตาจะหักกูเนี่ยขอเรียกเสียดีเสียดีเสียสันลําสันทุนจีดูจีเสียได้อยู่รึวะเนี่ยสิแล
uh, five sense five senses right on top of five senses then we add on like a, the consciousness faculty so it adds up to the uh, six uh, mental faculties yes. so now like a our thoughts we have infinite thoughts right we you just we cannot like it just i mean they are infinite thoughts uh, in our day-to-day -day life i mean even one day we 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 experience lots of thinking <laughs> so all those thoughts can be classified into those uh, six faculty we can put into those six faculties mm -hmm. that's six, six consciousness right Six, uh, fives related to the uh, sensory and ones uh, related to the mental uh, yes. consciousness. And with, uh, within that, uh, when we study that, uh, we category seven different cat categories. One is Musum uh, Chet. No, so, so first one is a uh, direct receiver. And then Jeba Chet. Second one is a in, uh, inferential, uh, yeah, inferential, uh, inferential, yeah. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the, 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 so, so so next third one is a cheshe but like i'm just so sorry i i just I, like a translation is not right at all. but cheshe it means uh it's ones that perceive it's it's understanding the repeated uh, understandings it's not new understanding but it's just it's a repeated whereas a direct perceiver and the inferential uh uh Cognition can be an uh, it's transmitting a new information, but whereas a cheshe, it's not a transmitting new information, but it's a repeating. And then you just you just learn to not be chat on a talk about it all me watch and it then it is just a share it you know. Let's see. So next one, but talk about on go to me watch it. Let's see. So next one is a you just here refers to not food. Any any understanding which is not fully developed, but but got some but some but some notions what it is, but it's not fully uh yeah it's not a full yet. Then uh, nang lamang The last one is nang lamang it's, it's like a, it's a, you are listening but not you are understanding the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it, it it really it can be any other consciousness, but not 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 only the uh, how to say uh, listen, but yes, like if this uh, just an example, right? So nanglamangye, so it means like a just like a like a. It can be applied to on any of those uh, uh, five senses, right? Six senses. So this I, I gave like a, just one. It's like a, you are listening, but your thoughts are somewhere else. You're hearing something, but not understanding, right? Or you're just staring at something, but your thoughts are so somewhere else. You're seeing, so I gave you two examples of senses, but you can apply the rest, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one is a doubt. Mm -hmm. The last one is a, a, a last a wrong, like a lo, misunderstandings. Mm. So misunderstanding. So they the wrong view or misunderstanding. Wrong so, view or destructions, destructive mind or something like that. So, so anyway, all the our good quality of uh, uh, our how to say. Uh, experience or consciousness or all the our bad uh, consciousness or experience all related to the those uh, six different consciousness so majugi kanda lo mongbe rik lo nyumuji rik ta lo majupangwe rik kangata 
Lorit and Azudi Onshin Ada Yishi, Seni two Yura, Dela Dewa Chadiore, then it same Sambu Rig Yamlin Chenia, Tongo Combe Combe Drag, and that so now with this like a uh, like at the seven categories of those minds mind mental factors so any thoughts that we have either it's a good or bad it has to relate it with either or all of those uh like a uh, seven categories and those are the like a just uh uh, either we in turn, or like a, we speaking of like a, a progressing uh, qualities, positive qualities of the mind, uh, then it's like a, it's it it has to be related with the, uh, those seven categories. Mm -hmm. So like a six consciousness, right? Every every practice we do, when we do the vipassana or <laughs> the uh, the shine come abiding or when we do the Veja Sattva practice or every practice when we do it some has to be related to the, those consciousness. So when we're talking about the, the calm abiding, just sitting is uh, important, but more important the inner uh, investigate or uh, how to call it, like a kind of like a police check check right so so those all related to the consciousness so that's why i'm uh, asking people the people who want to study buddhist or want to practice buddhist uh, uh, if someone already studied a little bit about the consciousness functions mind and mental factor those kind of the, uh, how to say uh, learn a little bit about those things and then i think it's much uh, how to say uh, confidence or much comfortable when you do the, your own practice just by yourself and then try to uh, calm your mind and put focus on the one object or something like that so if you arise some mental factor or uh, the, the consciousness whether it's uh, the how to say kind of like a, uh, we have to take into the practice or something that we have to abandon so you will know something. Otherwise, if you didn't know anything about the mental consciousness, just sitting and then whatever you got the instruction, you just want to follow that sometimes may work, sometimes may not work. So it's uh, we uh, practice about uh, our the daily uh, uh, Buddha Dharma is not for the, uh, not like a material, uh, how to say, study or practice, right? We, our main focus is to improve our practice level and to, uh, the, how to say, ultimately, we want to achieve the enlightenment for the uh, all the other sentient beings. So that means we, uh, we don't need to rush and uh, how does we don't have to expect too much. Uh, gradually, we will improve our mind functions like a little by little, little by little. So, so based on that reasons, we need to learn those uh, functions. I mean, some mind and mental consciousness. And plus, you know, the tenets, which is very important because when we talk about the two truth, right? Example, for example, like, so, the four tenets, they have a kind of like a pretty big gap difference uh, view about uh, those uh, uh, subject. So it is not kind of like uh, uh, giving us a uh, confusion, but it's because uh, you know that each level have a different view. And then if we're able to uh, uh, learn a little bit about the, those differences, then you will uh, how to say, uh, we will get the more understanding about uh, uh, Madhya Mengus, uh, the prospect of the two tooth or the ultimate tooth. So that's why, so uh, 
Kenneth's uh, study is uh, very important too. So that's I how to how to call I. So this is my, uh, uh, I mean, this is how I, 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 this is how I thought much beneficial if you comes from this understanding, right? What Geshe, what Rinpoche explains, right? The importance of understanding the, the foundations such as mind and mental factors and the understandings on four tenets. If you understand, if you have some understanding of those foundations, which help you to construct a better understanding on the classical text, okay? Mm. Now, coming back to the text, but the, what we have now here uh, in our hand, the handout, right? So in, in, uh, in this one, uh, the missing, uh, some information, some missing, such as uh, the, uh, the, uh, the homage and uh, translator's homage. Uh, so those information are missing. Mm. ご<音楽><音楽><音楽> Uh, uh, so, uh, Gezer Rinpoche's, so based on Gezer Rinpoche's uh, commentary on this uh, text and his outlines, the Gezer Rinpoche's outlines, uh, there are four outlines. First one is uh, uh, the, the meaning of the, the text itself. So it's, uh, it's, it's, so right now we see in English, but the original is the, in Sanskrit. So Gezer Rinpoche explains the meaning of those Sanskrit titles of this text, right? Then next, there's the first outline. Second outline is the, since the root text is in Sanskrit and the translator, Tibetan translators, they made a homage, right? So translators are homage, that's the second outline. And third outline is the actual content the text itself that we have now. And the fourth one is the uh, conclusion node. Mm -hmm. So those are the four outlines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, so, uh, so now, uh, so for first outline is explains the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Yoga Jara Matemika's uh, four hundred verses on the uh, Matemika, huh? mm -hmm. the four hundred verses on the um, on Matemika. The Shijaba Shijaba said the Shwedi and it the so here 400 verses so it's very uh, uh, straightforward right so since this text itself it has it contains the 400 verses and therefore the title it's it's called like a 400 verses it's the meaning explaining on the mathematica so that's the title the meaning of the title said she said ま、そんがちゃ。ですね。ジャバスね、そんがやってると。で、彼、ゴバダオでディレーションと。うん。ちなみに、次じゃね、シジャバレ、レディオでね、ジャバスそんがやってて、ニュモンバ。ニュモン
right? So uh, excluding the four. So like uh, since the root text it says the 400 verses, right? So the some of the commentaries they don't say the four, rather just the hundreds. So the the reason why they just say only the hundreds because the uh, the commentary of the, those authors they intend was. Since each of those verses has has a, a power of eliminating hundreds of of our defilements, so this each verse can be an antidote for hundreds of uh, an antidote for hundreds of defilements, mm. destructive emotions. So therefore, like I, they just simply says the hundreds. Mm. Now with this one, now we understand in the root text it says 400 verses because it has a four, this text has a 400 verses, right? So the, when the commentary says only hundreds, so it's coming from the functionality of each of those verses, because each of those verses can function as an antidote for hundreds of, of our defilements. So therefore, they just simply say hundreds. Okay, simply, mm -hmm. right? So currently, I Rabji, you do yours. Let's say Rabji, you do this. Let's say so. This text or like uh, it has. Uh, six, uh, 16 chapters. Mm. So uh, each chapter has uh, 25 uh, verses. Mm. So since today is our first first day, right, first class, I mean, we we'll just, we are, of course, we are not expecting to finish the whole text right mm -hmm. so uh, we might not even finish the first uh, first chapter so but just it's it's a, it's a auspicious opening right mm -hmm. so, like, is it like if we if we multiply 25 into 16 uh, how many it's a 400 should be right. Use the phone, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, did you? Then he juja de la papa jambele chatalo said your is. Let's say the dinal mendoa. Let's say the dinal mendoa. The pugi pugi dinalola papa jambele chatalo. Let's say now. Uh, now with this, we finish the first outline. Okay. The second outline is translators uh, of uh, homage. The translator make made a homage to Manjushiri. So, so why the translator made homage to the Manjushiri? Uh, because this the text now in terms of the category, this uh uh, in terms of the three baskets, you, I, I'm ho I hope you heard about this term, right? Three baskets. Now, in terms of the three baskets, uh, this category, particular text, falls to the, the second uh, basket, which is the, uh, the meditation uh, basket. Now, in terms of the practice, uh, three higher trainings. So mm -hmm. this particular text belongs to the wisdom trainings. So therefore, uh, it's appropriate to pay homage to Manjushri. Shere jilhaba juja to tenge dila mumbi dinu che. Yes. Ani tenge jilhaba to tenge dila ani ya dudhe dinu che. Sudum jilhaba to tenge dila dudhe dinu che. Yes. So now, in, now speaking in terms of the three baskets, right? So like the, those baskets contains the three uh, content. Uh, like so, all the Buddhas can be put into this one basket so 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 that's why it's a term in sanskrit so now all the like uh, the meditative uh the wisdom acts all those uh, content uh can be 
can be cat categorized in, in terms of the higher trainings into a wisdoms. And the sutras can be uh, trans, uh, uh, into uh, the meditation uh, training, the concentration trainings. And the, all the uh, moral code and conduct uh, into, uh, in terms of the uh, Vinaya trainings. Okay? Lizard, <laughs> So the reason the reason why translators made a homage to Manjushri like it just uh because the uh, another thing is like uh Tibetan monarchs in, in those uh, ancient times, they made uh, uh, particular rules uh, to, in order to stand, uh, standardize the translations. The monarchs made the rules. Any text that belongs to uh, like uh, uh, the, the, uh, the middle uh, baskets of that, uh, three, uh, the contents of the three baskets, so they all has to like a, uh, like a pay homage to since this belongs to the wisdom higher trainings, right? So the translator must pay homage to Manjushri, and mm -hmm. that's the first reason they follow the rules of the land. And the second one is to so. The way as the uh, the any text that uh, any text that corresponds to the Vinaya text, then the like the monarchs that the uh, the rule is pay homage to the uh, Buddha. Mm. So it if it is like a then uh, the, if the text belongs to the uh, 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 the sutra text, right? Then pay homage to the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas. So those are the uh, reference code of that prescribed by the monarchs mm -hmm. to, in, in order to like uh, penalize the all the canons of the text mm -hmm. to have this uh, standardized, right? So therefore, the translator follows those the rules. That's the one reason. Second reason is uh, to dispel the obstacles during the translations. Mm -hmm. uh, so it actually it has a great point because the, then the readers, any readers read any text they can easily categorize the text. If it's uh, like a Manjush, uh, pay homage to the Manjushri, then they know what the content of the text, right? Simply it's just. Mm. Yes, So also like a Gizaram at this uh, in this uh, outline, he also uh, uh, outlined the higher qualities of the uh, Master Aryadeva, the author of the root text. Oh, but the 
and a Gumulu do get just a town, eh? And a go number temple a shoot, Lomne Nang, and a Gumnum do chen, and a good say, and a teller ya sang jig, company of a she race, and a Pandidavik devanat in the sung shas. So here, Gezer Rinpoche, a quote from Chandakriti's, uh, or a quote from one of the Chandakriti's writing about the, uh, the process for Aridheva, where it says that uh, even though the uh, Aridheva, the author of the text, born as a prince somewhere in uh, uh, Singala, and even though he was a prince, he abandoned the princehood and to enrolled in the monastic trainings, and then uh, then he became a highly profit, uh, like a uh, I mean great uh, scholar and the practitioner eventually achieved complete enlightenment in this very single lifetimes. Any day, shun di gita, and the chupda thangi shiva na je chupda sudo deva menda vayor va. No. Deva menda vayor va na ne chigle ya ane pena. Yes. So now earlier we uh, briefly spoke about the different uh I mean we briefly uh, spoke about the the uh, the full abroad uh technical schools in ancient India, and uh, like uh, uh, other than this particular t uh, uh, schools all others believes that like uh, to achieve uh, um, to achieve liberations or uh, one doesn't require to understand the, uh, the what it it doesn't require to comprehend the meaning of emptiness, all right? Uh, whereas this particular uh, school believes that even like uh, to achieve liberation, one must have, uh, have to have the complete understanding on emptiness. That in it, Subject China lo le kari kari sungu du sena ani kumbulu du ki umata wa shira lo sabari to tu de thare ani anda di umma shija badde badle ani goba yom goba mindu wa asla ne kala kor thoba kong kong long thoba da waji chene ani di deshe jagdo. So now, uh, since we now we know that the Aridheva was the principal disciple of Nagarjuna, and Nagarjuna composed the sixth grade. Uh, uh, treatises, right, on Madhimika. Uh, so, uh, so, like, uh, the, the, uh, such as, like, the, the, uh, the, uh, the foundation, the fundamentals of the great treatises on Madhimika, the root text, right? And then he have subs he wrote the sub five subsequent uh, texts. Uh, so, there are some, I mean, there, there are some birds within his follower that, like, uh, since we have those excellent six treatises, why to add one more, right? So, the, like, uh, uh, yes. So those are the like uh, just in within the cycles of such, such verses are creating. That they are laying very soon. Do lana kumbu ludo gita wa shira lo sabe kapsu ani gaksha mangbo shuk na ngayor wa. Yes. Ani kachi ki di. ตาตาเชลาสอบาดิอันนี้กาชาเดเวอันนี้ชุงมาตัวจีกอันนี้ช่วยเนรเนรเนยามสลายกิมาระสุกยามสลังกวยกิชุงจีมาเรสันเนอ
uh, uh, la, 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 I mean, lots of question on there's there's a lot of rebuild like a just questioning answer back and forth, right? And uh, some, I mean, they are like a lot uh, many many or some skeptics have this doubt that like uh, Nagarjuna wrote those great treatises because uh, in the style of Ribabult, just the, he he wrote one text, they asked lots of questions, then he answered, and all those, so those question answer really give birth to those six uh, commentaries. Other than that, it's those texts are not really like meant to be uh, instructive on how to practice in terms of the daily uh, practice. They're like such way of there are long, many people have such way of thinking, right? So therefore, are deva to dispel such a doubt and confusions, he he wrote this text to prove that Nagarjuna's six fundamental six great treatises are not only answered to many of the questions, rather those six treatises not only this answer question, rather it also contain a great in depth in terms of the instructive uh, practice to prove this. That's the one reason, one objective why he composed this text. That in it, any Omashi Jabege, any Lamjir in Benam Shatam, the conditioning it is Lava in us. Now, how this text really uh, uh, formulate the uh, stages of the path in terms of the instructives? That the Gopshara and Shung of Shaja and Rabje Tambo Jigi. Tabkunzo de Begir in Bad Tingi Res, any Rabje Chima Jedigi, any Tabjun Tandam de Begi, any Rimbat Tingi Res. So now, in terms of the presentation of this text, uh, in uh, corresponding to the uh, the uh, the progression of our uh, instructor uh, practices, first eight chapters explain on the uh, conventional truth. Mm. Uh, Lo, to, the method aspects, right? Lo. So the first eight chapters really consists on explanation on the like uh, the uh, the uh, how the method aspects of the practice are presented, and then following uh, eight were presented in terms of the then the uh, practice, the, uh, the wisdom aspects of the practices were presented. Huh? ตังเตตักตักชีวะตังเตตักตักชีแล้วนะฮะกูตังเตวะตักวะชีวะเต็มไปลุชีรอชิงจิโลดิชีอินบุเลยอันนี้รับเจทั้งบุชีนะสิต
suffering uh, as a happiness and uh, uh, impermanent as a permanent. That's how we like a sort of default nature to perceive in this. Understand? So, okay, now let's go one by one, right? First chapters, it's really focused on the impermanent. Impermanent. So, this, uh, like, that's now the, the, this. The persons we are composed of a five aggregate, right? We we have this five aggregate. Uh, so now this, even though this this aggregate whole uh, existence in reality, it's a uh, impermanent in nature, right? Despite its permanent impermanent in nature, yet we hang in on to as it is a permanent. Mm. Yeah. Since we hang it on to as if as a permanence, therefore this text really dispelled. This helps to eliminate this the very thought of uh, grasping into something that which is not solid as a solid, right? Uh, so so this text goes in depth into this idea in notion of dispelling this uh, permanent as an impermanent mm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now the next second chapter, it then it then it's it starts to deconstruct the very notion of like a uh, anything that established as an impermanent cannot bring the happiness. Therefore, we cannot hang. They, they, therefore, we cannot hope for this very contaminated aggregate, hoping that this very contaminated aggregate can aggregate can produce a happiness. No, no. So, so we cannot like a just, we cannot like a just, just bring, like we cannot bring into the notion of this contaminated aggregate as a source of happiness. So this is, this is not a happiness, the, rather it is a suffering. Right? So since this is a, so we are we we, we mis, misperceive happiness as a, a suffering. Uh, therefore, we need to discard this misconception uh, on. Uh, suffering as a happiness. That's a jay pumonga metave ranching. Don't make it ranching. Jetan meta wak meta by imba chet, dating lay out any. Don't make it ranching, but the tongue of the rumaris and any tongue of the bitching you low pong to jabber them begone, rabjis and big shigures. Let's say. Now, this the whole basis of this aggregate, for contaminated aggregate, as a established as a impermanent, right? Not only impermanent, but it's also a prob problematic. Since it's the whole basis is a impermanent and problematic, therefore it cannot be a pure. So that helps to discard this very notion of seeing impure as a pure. Mm. So 
Now, since it is the whole basis of this five aggregate is a impermanent. Since it's impermanent, it produces a suffering. Since it's produced a suffering, it cannot be a pure. Now, now we, we have concluded that it's a impermanent, it is a suffering, it is a impure. Therefore, we cannot hold, hold on to as a selfhood. It is a selfless. It, 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 it discussed this very notion of like a, something as just a selfhood, right? So this, discarding this selfhood in more depth explained into, uh, in fourth chapter. Rabji, thangbo shi deke ki dongo dao de la, membe rik jen ale ane thaba tu nyi ki thap te tungi yore es. Andes la. Membe rik jen yora, membe rik jen. Remember, I didn't know this. Remember, I didn't know this. 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 I uh, lesser, uh, uh, how to say it, like a uh, in direct translation is like a lesser intelligence practitioner <laughs> to to give the uh, uh, knowledge that like it's give the light that like it give the light which can dispel the ignorance about like a just uh, uh, like a uh, like a holding on to five aggregate as a permanent as a uh, uh, happiness and pure and selfful right to dispel those ignorance and give the light to path to liberations to achieve liberations furthermore those high intellect intelligence uh practitioners uh, the um like a uh the great scope practitioners right so for them it gives the really a true picture of samsara as a fire pit it's nothing desirable rather a source of problems right <laughs> Now, fifth chapter, fifth chapter, it explains on in order to achieve Buddhahood, one must engage in the deeds of the Bodhisattva. So, so in order to engage into the deeds of the Bodhisattva, one, one must uphold the vows, commitments. So therefore, fifth chapter explain, explains, explains on the, uh, the uh, engaging deeds of the Bodhisattvas. Now, sixth, sixth chapter explains on if one, how to say, uh, if one, if one is under the command of delusions, that alone will bring a pro sufferings not only oneself, but others too. And how would, how could that person can really overcome from the sufferings? Because mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. So like, a, like the sense that such person, that person cannot fulfill the one's own wish. How could that person can f fulfill the wishes of others? Uh, therefore, sixth chapter really explains on the uh, like a, uh, 
the uh, the uh, explain on the uh, the uh, how the functionality of fun the functions of the uh, delusions how we how we arises mm -hmm. in uh, in in ourselves. Tani Rabji Jema Digi any new mumba cheva te yula rali giwa. Take the new mumba cheva yuzun to any in cheva tengi yores. Rabji Dumbaki. So now seventh chapter explains on the defilements to arise defilements dependent on the conditions. The basis, right? So, uh, therefore, chapter chapter seven uh, explain in depth about the the uh, the condition and the basis of that uh, defilements. So when I say defilements, it's other translate they call afflicted emotions. Okay, it's the same. The word I mean the same thing. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, so now chapter eight, now eight, right? Chapter eight uh, explains on the uh, target, uh, how to say it, like uh, chapter eight explains on the uh, conducive, uh, how to say, uh, practitioners who are ready to receive the content of the uh, 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 teachings. Uh, because the, how he explained in the chapter eight uh, uh, was like a, uh, now earlier chapter seven we talked about the condition and the basis of the afflicted emotions. Now in chapter eight he go in depth about those bases and conditions were primarily caused by not understanding the reality of the nature. Furthermore, not only understanding the nature of its reality, uh, furthermore we exaggerate. On the things we exaggerate on the nature and uh, conditions and therefore it ramifies the causes of uh afflicted emotions so 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 in in short like just like a, uh so uh uh so so in short it really explains on the, like a uh, the, uh, right practitioner who are ready to receive the uh, the teaching on emptiness so uh, yeah so this is a gist on the chapter eight kind of like a qualification for the practitioner uh, how to write that their conditions or something like that. They emphasize on the uh, eight chapters. That abje thangbo jegi jumin si lama jumin bar chep chep ati chip tengi erwa. Then it jumin jumin min thave jela se koro ta. Any ta thanda dem thanda dem balat dembe any lam lam jere dem balat any chuma jedi tengi eres. So now in other words like that now like I just yeah. In other words, six, eight, present, eight chapters were really like a focus on to 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 build the solid foundations to go to the ultimate uh, 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 ultimate wisdom, right? Uh, so, in other words, eight chapters, first eight will really lay out the foundation, or in other words, like a, creating a condition to ripen the seed uh, of the uh, the wisdom, huh? So now, once it's ripened, now then it leads to the next, uh, next, uh, the ultimate wisdoms. That the Jordan lapinda. Now, if you go there, any mobutak wati kogi or resta, ang eto ng tanginda. Mobutak wala. Mobutak wala kogi or resta. So so so. So now, the, like uh, the ninth chapter, it's on analyzing on the objects. Mobutak wala kogi. 
Uh, so analyzing uh, the analyzing object as a permanent. So like uh, refuting the uh, uh, the object as a a, a permanent. Any Rabji Chubigi Let's say, so uh, the chapter 10, it's, uh, it's on uh, selflessness. Mm. So uh, chapter 11, it's called like a, 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 a negate the time as a, a permanent. Mm. Let's say, so now it's a 13 right <laughs> so 13 it's uh so it's an, uh, so it's negating the uh, faculties and the meanings as a a, 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 a truth how it's negated those two as a truth ตินเดกิชวนนัมเกเมคอลอนังชิงกิรังชิจุงเซจันยอมาเรสอะนี่ทาบาตะทันจิเชมบาทอบาเลยอะนี่ทาร์ดินเบตาวาดิชะนาโ
Tadine masaji matam ya dela kunzo dembal dembelam jerimba tu tanda dembal dembelam jerimba sene saji tawa sabji ni shadwa. Tadangi nyele shu tsarwa rabje tambo jedi. Tambo de kawache rabje chima jedi ki chima de kawache. Now if we go back to our original outlines, third outlines, right, which is the, the, uh, the content of this text and the content of this text, it has uh, 18 chapters and 18 chapter can be broke break down into two sets, eight, eight, right? First eight explains on the conventional truth and the next eight kind of explains on the ultimate truth, okay? Mm. So the, uh, the first eight uh, can be a further just uh, first eight chapters can be further. It has a two sub uh, outlines uh, outlines. Uh, 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 generating uh, how to generate aspirational uh, 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 aspirationals and how to generate the engagings, right? So like uh, where the, 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 the first uh, sub outline, so uh, uh, gen how to generate the aspir uh, aspirations, so that leads to the first four chapters, right? The first four chapter basically talks about the, uh, how we should avoid the misunderstanding about uh, yeah, something that is uh, impermanent as a, a permanent, uh, uh, like, a, um, uh, like a suffering as a, a happiness and the impure as a pure and self, selflessness as a selfhood. Right. Mm. So each of those points uh, corresponds to the uh, each of the first four chapters. That chapter Tangbo Khorong Shungune share de la, ani chiva timbe gune, thala na timbe payu ko hat. Okay, now let's go back to the text that we have first chapter, right? So first, <laughs> first chapter. So uh, first chapter. Okay, don't see how to the, so the first chapter it really emphasizes on the uh, reflecting on the transitory nature of our existence and encourage us to adopt the conduct of consciousness. Uh, okay. uh, uh, it it encourage us to cultivate our awareness to engage into the path of nirvana or liberations. Mm. And then it, it, it really like a, then it then explains in depth explanation on meditation on uh, impermanence. And then leads to the benefits of meditating on impermanence. Mm. So now where is the first one point here he made the automate here is uh, the greatest challenges or the obstacle for us to for us now in terms of engaging our, our practice uh, uh, is uh, the, uh, yeah uh, the, is like uh, we really uh, give a, a them about uh, the the dead I like just right just we we don't think about the dead isn't it okay think about or don't believe we don't believe we're gonna die 
sometime, sometime soon or something like that. <laughs> so that's the most, uh, how to call? Obstacles. Dif obstacle yeah. for the practice, uh, uh, how to say, noble path. Do you do any chuale, yang down to some lotane, yang down to chua metaba samne, any chuanyam lechale, tundu chibu grace? So therefore, like uh, it's very important for us to kickstart the thought on the reflection on the transitory nature of our existence. And it loaded chumba yina, loaded la comba yina, and it dungal soba and a conch carsore lel how young grace. So once it's going on, this once this motor is running, right? This the this reflection on the how the very moment of whole existence is a transitory in nature. This that profound reflection on impermanence gives a greater space for us to face the any challenges that we forbear in the journey of our spiritual path. Mm -hmm. uh, if those whose Lord is death himself, ruler of the three worlds, without a master, sleep soundly like true vanquishers, what could be more improper? Yes, so this is the first uh, verse of the first uh, chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Please look at the text, the first uh, first verse, right? First chapter, first verse. So since Rupachi read the uh, verse, I will not read it again. But if you look look at the first line, there's a those who's, uh, those who's, right? And those refers to ordinary beings, such as me, who believes, seeing as a believing, a perception as a true. Hmm. If anyone who believes that, like it just the, in in false that category, it refers to that those. And it comes from the Chengwale Matu say it doa. Comes from the Chengwale Matu say it comes from the de so come so me come and do come shana degree yang mena digala jigdingi comes from jiang de ah the sao sa ding sa la som shana degree that the so now next line, three words, right? That's a rule of the three words. Three words here refers to either it's it uh, we can uh, classify it as a desire world, form world, formless world. That's a three words, or like a uh, like a the upper world, middle world, and the lower world. So just either way, yeah, it's there. That Chidagi Chidagi, do you just want to chuba? Chidagi, do you just want to chuba? Slow on the tongue, do Lenya Mapan by in tongue, and Mazuki Chichikanga. Any Lenya Gishan want to chuba de Roa? Any Rani Chidaga want to Judy Roa? Rani Gipa Chidala want to your Maroa? Chidaga Rani la two one ju your is you ju you gi you gila any rani chidagi one ju we the machine chidigi uh two one to ju you but machine any karsugure uh chidigi chola samlo tang any nyeshe any 
di hako ve tone ani chelo tumba macheba ani chidagi rani le on do ju yena yang ani rani te ha mako chene ani kharcho korta ni lobe sota dauchi ani de de ke di is korta di ngaratsu lakke ro sunya bas so like uh, in reality like uh, anyone anyone who have not eliminated defilements and the, its conditions then then that person is under the control of death defilements delusions right however if one really thinks that okay i i can make my own choices i can make do like i just i am i'm the individual who makes my own decisions i'm i'm the, my own master then it's a self it's just a self destroying self lying it's improper right because we are under the control of defilements that see the current that talk that you know mena kaje tonda dok dok garij lagu <laughs> rela na anzu so so che thame ba demba langon ba shin be kan sa chida ge shawan jur denge kham sum gi nimo le ma denge and the jik ding jik ding sum jik sum sum do kham sum de nimo le ma denge kan sa rani chida ge shawan do jur yugi yugi le ya ani chida ge you do uh, want to do you what the machine in your love and she chene and it did any she daddy cut job a machine that I did in a thing what about a young somebody is good this is so like it just first the first uh, uh the first uh, uh stanza it really uh reflects on this one uh even though like uh, the one half uh, even though one is under the full control of uh i mean even though like how to say it, like one half not fully one is under the control of a development uh and subject uh uh in subject in the three worlds right and and uh that as the lord because we are since we have not abandoned uh, because we are in the uh, under the uh, we are under the uh, defilement uh, uh, having all those conditions uh, still like as if like uh, just uh, how to say if that person like uh, lay low and just to kick back but then that's that's uh, that isn't that improper because uh, sooner or later that it that, that will strike right that's i mean that's the gist of the uh the first uh stanza that ko ko dere shena dem bala ngomba shemba yinda ngasanga zo suzo je wo tame ba na ngwa khanga takara dem bala shen de ba yinda khamsu ge nyimu le mathe wa re khamsu ge nyimu ge ching de re khamsu ge nyimu ge ching de yo yinda chida ge shawa de chude re chida le thwe yo mare Chida le tre me ba la chida tre me ba ha ma go ni lo na shi che ne ani chida de kha jo ba ma che ne me jo ma che ma de ta ga de de wa de pe lum bo re is ko ta chi sho ga tang bo de ta na do do de ta let's say so like it just uh just uh just uh, uh just like i repeat one more time like a, like kind, a, kind of like a brief okay <laughs> yeah uh uh since we since we we are the one who believes uh what we see our perception as a real so, so since we believe our perception as a real therefore we are we are under the dominance of a defilement and since we are under the uh dominance of a defilement uh we are controlled by the debt yeah so we are controlled by that that then still we are kind of like a uh, next to the, uh, uh, the how to call like Uncle Sam, we just kind of like a, a slip, and we didn't recognize that that uh, uh, how to say uh, that we didn't realize that that that, and we just kind of like a sleepy, and then we didn't still we didn't try to stop that, so that person is a uh, how to say lumbula kalerita uh, foolish. <laughs> that person is a foolish person so that's a uh, how is the brief meaning of the first uh, 
uh, verses. As it means they to, uh, giving advice us to how to say, uh, uh, how to say, uh, quite often we have to meditate on our uh, precious lives and we should try to get the essence of our precious lives uh, day by day. So that's the, uh, how to say, brief meaning of the first verses of the 2400 stanza Arya Devas Madhya Manga book. So today, today I will stop here, okay. So yeah, yeah, it's a beginning that the brief, brief brief about all the chapters. I think important if you know a little bit about what the chapter mean or the so the uh, so then you can understand so when you read okay this chapter is mostly talking about this subject or something that's why i tried to explain and uh, uh, we already spent most of time on that uh, that uh, how to say that explanation so so we are <laughs> we are not going to finish and very soon so <laughs> uh, uh, I, I won't be back until uh, April or May. So when I, yeah, when I come back, then we will try to uh, make a schedule to for continue. Okay. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So do we do dedication now. Uh, yes. Oh. Dedication. Oh. Okay. Also, what If anyone have a want to ask. Brief question or something that's okay. Never mm -hmm. okay. okay. Silence means they've all understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, one behind us. Uh, someone yeah. raised their yeah. hand. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Huh? I don't see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So thank you for for visiting and for for sharing this teaching with us and for opening, you know, giving providing context for these teachings so that we can we can study and and improve ourselves. And I think for some reason one thing that came up for me reading this first part is. Um, talk about death but then we also talk about rebirth and and so at the moment I'm, i guess i'm not as afraid of death because maybe i don't know what happens in that transition i think so i'm wondering if you can shed some light on the importance of um preparing for death okay, yeah i think i already touched i'm not sure you understood or not so they they talked about the first uh, verses it's talked about a person like us Kind of like uh, deluded by the, those uh, uh, defilements, controlled by the defilement, and then we didn't realize that that uh, that is near by us. So that uh, give us uh, advice, which I uh, mentioned. So we should utilize our precious lives all the time we should try to get the essence of our precious life. So that means we have to, uh, how to say, cautious every moment, whatever we do, we should try to create or uh, take the path, which is, uh, how to say, uh, bring us toward uh, uh, liberations or enlightenment or something that we should take. <coughs> If something that is not uh, correct path, then example, it's not necessary to depend on or rely on other persons for ourselves. When we get sometimes emotion, sometimes angry, sometimes, you know, the many uh, different, uh, how to say, consciousness arises that times so we, ha we have to kind of like uh, uh, check. So when we arise with something uh, like a hatred or something bad, then we should analyze how I get it. Even though sometimes when we arise, we can check it. 
if you're used to it, you can know, you, you should know, okay, this is coming, this is coming or something like that. So I mean like a, every, every time, much as possible to create the positive consciousness all the time. So we are kind of like a machine. Sometimes I, I believe that kind of like a machine, 24 hours creating something. Sometimes good, sometimes no good. And uh, for instance, many sometimes maybe maybe most of the times no good. <laughs> so that means every moment we're creating the karma. So it's not like everything created by somebody. So it's a, our actions makes those karma, whatever we do. So so how to say focusing just outer things good, but it's most important how to say turn how to say turn toward ourselves. So our consciousness. So we have to watch all the time. So if you able to do that, then I think it's pretty good. If you everyday life. It is, it is it is not easy like a 24 7 like a cc camera right so but we can uh, gradually improve okay what's what's doing what's doing so you can you can check uh, we, we can check by ourselves all the time i mean not beginnings are not not going to be like uh, perfect but we will improve it will help uh, in Buddhism point of view of that is not 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 about scaring others it's talking about uh, ourselves right not talking about others when we practice talking about the practice many times we feel like ah oh, he's not she's not something like that pointing out but it's reality is not uh, not that way so it is for for ourselves so whether we do practice or not it's for ourselves order to benefit others that's the reason but reality day-to-day -day practice is ourselves not for the pointing out oh he's not doing or she's not doing or she's good or she's not good or something like that it is not uh, appropriate so so if we able to give how to say day by day day by day if we uh, try to imp improve our mental how to say mental level or something we able to stable and then we can how to put the more practice on it a kind of like a hala wala de tiba sa bi jam so da wala sana de ya me na ji lemba je so da da wala ji ka yong yong ji je na ani so those are small accumulating small deeds one at a time it can create a vast impact just like a uh, just there's a Tibetan saying, uh, accumulation of drops soon can create a great oceans. So it's just like, yeah. And we have a very, how to say, amazing consciousness. It's amazing. We can improve, the, how is it, kind of like a limitless. So that's, uh, we are very fortunate. So if something says, uh, how to say, totally okay. So if the defilements, like, yeah, same day. yeah, if if defilements, are, if if a defilements by nature with our consciousness, then it's we cannot change it because it's an, in one in nature with ourself. However, it's not the case. Let's say, however, it's not the case. Rather, it's a uh, advantages, so it can be eliminated. Yeah, depend on element. I hope you have some help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Rinpoche.
I appreciated the overview. Now that I know that's what's contained, I'm uh, looking forward to learning more. Mm -hmm. I want to get the book. I was wondering if you could uh, explain the term vanquisher in the first paragraph. Uh, <laughs> So, so I don't know how the translator put in Vanquisher in, in the uh, uh, parenthesis, right? So that's put in the parenthesis. So in the literally, so here it's like a sleep sounds soundly like two. So like a, so in Tibetan, it means like a. And that Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So it means a terminator. Huh? <laughs> so, so here it's like it's a, those Buddhas and the, okay, the other beings and above, right? They have they have already destroyed the dead, right? So the destroyer and for, for, for like in, in, in the prayer we read the destroyer and for destroyer, right? So it means they have destroyed the defilements. They don't need to worry about the lot of the dead, right? So, however, for me, I have not, I'm not the terminator. But I, as if I just sleep like as if I don't because I don't worry about the lot of death because right seems, then I'm feeling myself. Yeah, seems, I, seems like uh, Buddha and Bodhisattva those already how to say relinquish eliminated right eliminated yeah. like relinquish yeah. like the dual so they they they, they, they vanish they they, they they or they have eliminated right this is a term uh, vanisher they have vanished right. Conquer, right? They have, right, they have conquered, they have destroyed, right? The Buddhas and the Buddhas for destroyer, those who have liberated and above, they have already destroyed, they eliminated the lot of the dead. They don't worry. But since we since I'm not, right? Therefore I cannot like it just sleep as if nothing going to happen. Yes, we know that that is certain one day it will strike us. So if our contact is just like a, as if don't care at all, like a, just like a, how to say it? Like a, the 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 now I got what you're saying. So, so vanisher to answer exact is vanisher really, ref, since it's put in the parenthesis, it refers to the destroyers, Buddhas and the above, I mean, lib, those who have liberated right for, and above. Since it's a put in parenthesis here, the first two, like it just like a here, it says like a uh, sleep soundly like two sleep as if we are like a like a two refers this in the parenthesis refers to the Buddhas, not only Buddhas, like a four destroy and above. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a compassionate warning. Uh, yes, like you can this. say that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, the pra practitioner or person who already overcome from the dead, right? Those people can just like sleep. You, they can, how to say, calm sleep. <laughs> but we seems like uh, we already destroyed the, those uh, dead and kind of like, uh, uh, how to say, new law one, I think. Really, really, because mm -hmm. they're not the vanishes to the vanish and the mouse over the. No, that's. No, the new one, mouse over the. No, that's. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, dedication. 
Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may it quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezi, Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the beholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of objectless compassion, Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom, Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire hosts of Maras, Tsongkhapa, crown jewel of the snowy land sages, O Sangdrakpa, I make request at your holy feet. Once again, I'd like to thank Kenshin Rinpoche for being here and for initiating this uh, wonderful teaching. Um, I appreciate the scholarship that goes into the work. Um, true scholarship gives people structure, which uh, gives people knowledge, which then gives confidence. My experience is the scholars that combine the uh, meditation with the scholarship um, progress widely. So please don't be just meditators that are not scholars. Some people think they can meditate and then the doubts will all dissolve. Uh, no, we have to directly work with the nature of mind on all its levels, don't you think? So I want to stress scholarship here, as well as meditation and service at this temple. And I'm glad that, that Rimshay supports that. And I'd like to thank very much to Sering for being our Lotsawa. That's very nice. <laughs> That's nice. So now we have an opportunity to make an offering and, and do a greeting. So I'm going to stand up and everyone should uh, have kata and make an offering if you would like to. There are cartas in the back, yeah. So, <clears throat> okay.